Welcome to Friday. It's, it's, there's always something at the beginning of the show that I have to <laughs> click or touch or turn off or adjust because something's making noise. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. It is Friday and I'm James and this is Darcy. Uh, you can see it above your head. Oh no, you're too tall. You're way too tall. Let me fix your tallness. Yeah, I, I can't. Ah! 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 There. <laughs> I can't fix your tallness, but we can fix how much of your tallness fits into it. No, we'll get there <laughs> as we play. We'll sink into the couch. Um, this is where we play new games. Oh, check, check, check. Check, check, check. Are we good on the sound? Yes. Yeah, check. check. My mic's We're... not loud there enough. There we go. Ha, 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 ha. There. hoo now we're loud enough, aren't we? Right. Yes, because there's been some audio changes. How about now? Are we loud enough now? Are we in sync? Because that's what we're going to talk about as well. Oh. Because last week was a cluster F. <laughs> it was a big mess. It was a cluster uh, A. I, I mean, B-hole. <laughs> B-hole. It was terrible. Are we, are we in sync? Please, let me know. Please. Because I have a 99% chance that if we are in sync... And a 1% chance we are not in sync. Um, so we'll wait for the crowd to let us know. And uh, I also need to go get my tablet. Or if you can run up and get my tablet. It is on the table upstairs. While I wait for the confirmation. Yes, we are in sync. As I thought. The 99% comes through. Um, so, welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Uh, we're going to play some games today, and the three games we're going to play, as you saw in the title screen, are Miss Galactopus, Breakout 2000, and a minigame compilation called Dot, which I believe has nine minigames in it. One we have played, but Whoa, we'll, we'll briefly play Oh my god, play. being murdered! Ah, murdered <laughs> by cats! Did he try and attack you? He totally, oh, he had an attack face, he totally too! Tried, he totally tried to bite me! Look at that attack face! I mean, he attacked... Look at the attack face! You can get my ankle again? He was like, rawr, rawr, rawr. That is hilarious. You're the best, buddy. That's <laughs> Defend like. the house. Little savages. Welcome to the show, everyone. Uh, in the chat, we've got Mr. Fix, Ground Trooper, Thrust 26, Ice Posture, <laughs> and a whole bunch of people lurking as per usual. So if you want to talk in the chat, uh, please go ahead. Um, <laughs> was it the snapping of my fingers? Maybe. Ooh, Tell well. us if we're too loud as well. We're still adjusting that. Uh, but we will get to that as well, volumes. Um, but first, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers for supporting the show. Charles and Check, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Ice Bosta, Jeffrey2123, Johnny, WC23, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, RC, Retro Happy Hour, Tiki Dan K, and Train Tech 86. And if you want to support the show as well, you can click on subscribe on uh, Twitch Prime, which you can get for free with Amazon Prime. You get one uh, show a month that you can subscribe to for free. Um, so onto the poll question. I'm going to set up the poll right now so that people can vote on it. Uh, okay, turn on the poll and run it. Start it now. There we go. Now. The question is, what do you think of the, conf of the conflating of the definition of homebrew with piracy on new consoles? The an I'll, I'll explain that in a second. The answers are, it doesn't bother me. Uh, second one, number two, is I don't like it. Homebrew isn't piracy. Words have meaning. <laughs> and three, I've never heard of homebrew being used in this context. Three. Three for Darcy, but this is my vote, so I'm going to pick number two. Words have meaning. Words, Words have, have meaning. meaning. I also agree with number two. <laughs> I don't like it. Even I've never heard of it, but I still don't like it. And yeah. words have meaning. Sometimes I've used them correctly. <laughs> um, so on newer consoles, they're using the word homebrew to describe the process of uh, cracking the code on the console to be able to sideload in programs. Now they can be video players so you can play you know mp4 files and watch it on your PS4 or Xbox One or Nintendo Switch or whatever system. 
Um, but mostly they're used for playing pirated games. And you just download the pirate game off the internet, you load it onto your homebrew system, and you can play the game. But of course, you will be pretty much banned from playing online, updating your system if you get caught, and there's a very good chance of being caught as well. Um, so you pretty much have to kind of almost reserve that system to not be online, and I think a lot of people have a second system to do that and they load the pirated games or just don't even go They must save an awful lot of money on pirated games to like well. afford a second system just to <laughs> just to <laughs> circumvent yeah well it would <laughs> think about you know you can get a ps4 us for 200 dollars on sale or whatever and if you get it for used you can get it for well, even yeah, cheaper yeah, possibly that's... and how much are games <clears throat> You ask forty to fifty dollars. I suppose to forty two is that's, the answer. That's it is always it the is answer. the answer, but it's not the answer. Not answer to, to this. this question. It's not acceptable. It's only the answer to the uh, the meaning of life, the universe, and everything. Which does cover a lot of stuff. It, that does cover a lot of stuff. Uh, many life things. Meaning, yes. Many things. Um, so I did take a look into how many homebrew games there are for the PS4 and Xbox One and Switch, and they're exactly zero. There are no homebrew games for those new systems uh, that I could find with a fairly quick search because I don't know exactly where to look for those. But you think they'd be out in the open because making a game is not illegal. Yeah. Maybe putting it on there, breaking the, the, the copyright code uh, to load it onto your system is illegal because you're not allowed to alter your own hardware. Where's the poll block? Oh. Well, anyway, you're all you guys are all voting. Here it is. <laughs> you didn't need to see it yet anyway. There it is. Sorry. Um What was I saying? Yeah, there's zero. Zero homebrew. So really, you know, there's no reason yet to have it, but I mean, people are working on breaking the system. I don't I don't find it a problem changing your system you own that hardware you should be able to change it and of course they also have the possibility to block you because you're using their on online services as well it's like well we don't have to do things for you if you alter your hardware and i think that's totally fine as well um what do you think <laughs> i have no opinion no no i yeah. i i i think like you're asking, what do you think of using the definition? Well, yes, and that's I the main I, thing. I say that like homebrew is not piracy, so like it's just another case of people using a word yeah. inappropriately. <laughs> yeah, but it I, happens a lot. People will they a word gets tossed in, and then it becomes the word. Yes, and if that thing that the word is being used for is bigger than the original <laughs> thing, then the original thing can just fuck off. <laughs> Pretty I mean, much. Uh, be whole off go away <laughs> yes um yeah that is true that's Words just how change, it is and especially in english, english i mean is the worst. i don't like it i had a yeah. moment while you were talking and where i had this big argument in my head and i was <laughs> shouting down someone who was misusing the word but ultimately what it comes down to is that it sucks for the it's, it's a democratic use. process <clears throat> word usage and yeah. if you're the minority, you're going to be laughed at and, and, and you're also, chided. And you're also screwed because it's not yeah. like it's not like as a whole, it's an easy thing for people who do the original thing to change their name to go. Oh, it's not homebrew anymore. It's called <laughs> something something. Make and play. Yeah, make, <laughs> we're make gonna call it games. make and play. But then a a sizable faction from anywhere from 100 to like. <laughs> Two percent of the population will be like, screw that! I won't change the name. I'm not going to use make and play. Make and play sounds stupid. It sounds like play doh. Yes. And I'm going to stick with homebrew, and, and you can you all suck it. And, and then there's a split, and it's not a it's real all split. Confusing. And confusing. It, yeah, it's so hard to have these problems. I mean, I, <laughs> first oh. world problems. I know it's terrible. <laughs> so most people are saying, I either I don't like it, uh, or I've never heard of it. And, you know, people who aren't into that um, and new consoles. I mean, the crowd we're talking to is Atari crowd or old consoles crowd. So it makes sense that a lot of them wouldn't have heard of this term being used in that way. But it, it, it pisses me off when somebody says, oh, yeah, I have a homebrew PS4. Not that I talk to people who do that because mostly it's just online. Um, and it's like, 
that doesn't make any sense to me. Or it's like, you're not, it's not homebrew. It's not a homebrew game. I guess they're doing it at home, so it's homebrew. Yeah. So onto the mail, news and feedback. And I do have a piece of mail. I'll mystery it. mail. It is mystery mail. <laughs> it's actually from Vancouver, I think. I think it is. It's all covered up That's with funny. another sticker. Let's see. But it does say Vancouver there. Yep. It's mailed fairly recently. Mm -hmm. And it's got a Canada, oh, printed, printed stamp. That's wow. pretty cool. Mm. Okay, I'm going to open it up. I don't know what it is. If it's not related to video gaming, you guys don't get to see it. Maybe. Well, maybe they do. Depending on what it is. It's all wrapped up. Oh, okay. I know what this is. This is, this is video game related. Uh, my friend uh, went to Japan recently. And I didn't know he was in Japan. And uh, <laughs> here's the bag. <laughs> I didn't know he was in Japan, and he messaged me and said, Hey, I'm in Japan. Want anything? I'm like, yes. All of the things. Can you just... <laughs> Here's a, a list of a million things. I, di I didn't send him my big, huge, massive <laughs> list, because I can get pretty expensive buying video games. Most of the stuff I've left... He considered sending the list, but then he was like, like wait... Mm, I have to pay for this stuff, <laughs> and I don't have money to pay for this stuff right now. So I sent him something fairly simple. Um... And I got him to get me, um, this is a Famicom game. It is, oh, I have no idea how to say it in Japanese. Here, let course, me try. But it is. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> but it is, um, what is it? It's Dracula's son in, in the English translation? Yeah, it looks like a fun game. I haven't it's played it. It's got some bats, it. and it's got a Frankenstein's yeah. monster girl. Oh, Dracula Kid. That's what uh. it is. Yes. So it looks like a lot of fun. And, um, <laughs> yeah, it was a fine price. Not terrible. Not good. Um, uh, and it's in very good condition. That's what I really care about, that it's like a nice, nice um, label on it. So that was really nice of him. And he brought it back for me. And he could have dropped it off, but he felt like mailing it. <laughs> didn't want to see my face um okay the sync issues of last show um i was trying to fix it actually i have this program right here that you are seeing but mm -hmm. people aren't seeing yet that i was going to talk about last show proudly that i've synced up everything perfectly to the half a frame off maximum kind of thing and everything was screwed up <laughs> when i started the stream it was all kinds of crazy people were going nuts and like oh it's all out of sync and they're all thinking their end is screwed up right because you know the assumption is that we're perfect here. that's right yeah and course. we have been perfect. for a very long time very perfect <laughs> except for the first show for all of the times we weren't but let's forget about those yes you... <laughs> they're in the past um, the assumption is generally correct and, and oh. we did screw up quite a bit <clears throat> um in the beginning because i had no idea how all this worked and synced up and i was using a different a brand new program and it was all crazy and the camera was overheating oh my god and the box the... was maybe overheating or maybe it was just the camera the whole time it was the camera but, but it's yeah we had lots of issues with yeah. everything and now we have a piece of paper <laughs> that james discovered fixes that problem you just the you just have to the camera just needs a piece of paper near it <laughs> To just, think that and then turn off the screen. Oh, yeah. that's why. Yes. Um, it's not the proximity. So I, I asked the internet, or asked in the forums, how can I sync up things really easily? And Daryl Spice Jr. sent me over this program um, called uh, Sync Pop. And what it does is very similar to what we use in film, uh, where we use the clapperboard for syncing things up. And we also use a little pop on the two second mark or the minus two second mark. And then zero is when things start. And that is replicated on this Atari, um, Atari program. So I'm gonna switch over to that right now. Everybody can take a look <coughs> at that. Oh, I'll take off that graphic for now. So there it is. And pop, if you saw it, the mm -hmm. little red square. And yep. it goes on the two second when it transitions from three to two. Mm -hmm. Um, and each of those numbers is actually um, 1 60th of a second. So right. it counts down 59, 58 to 0. Um, 
and I also got it to so I can try and maybe figure out any dropped frames issue because I thought I was having issues with dropped frames but I don't think that's the actual case there are no dropped frames it's the interpretation through Twitch and YouTube and the way it displays it can't do a very good exact 60 frames a second right um, it just it can't handle it's too much too much too much because it's normally expecting like video at 60 frames a second where one thing moves to another moves to another rather than two distinct 60 frames a second images going back and forth really really quick um it just it craps out it can handle that but anyway this i wanted to sync up i have five inputs going into the stream right now one is the microphone above us one is the sound from the atari one is the video from the atari one is the video from the video camera <laughs> and the fifth one is the video from the webcam so there uh, uh almost. they works. see your feet you can go like this and uh, they can see your feet <laughs> there you go so there's the fifth one and i wanted to get them all in sync and he sent me over this sync pop thing which is perfect because it also makes a sound mm -hmm. so i can record the sound on the microphone here from the tv right which is what we're hearing and so it's getting at the same time as the picture is getting it yes yeah. and make sure the audio coming from the atari which is also coming making that blip yeah um which you can't hear oops let me turn that on there you go now you guys will be able to hear it it'll go blip um and yeah you just sync it all up at the same time and you feed it all into twitch and then you you know you play with it record <clears throat> watch it is it in sync? No. Move the thing that is out of sync into sync. Done. Perfect, right? Okay. What I did, I did that before Wednesday's show. I put everything in sync. It was like magical, beautiful. Everything was within like half a frame, which is totally acceptable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was actually more precise than that, but yeah, half a frame, one, one, one twentieth of a second is hardly perceptible. Um, hardly perceptible. Hardly perceptible. Uh, it's good enough. <laughs> and then when I start the show, it's all crazy. It's all screwed up. And everybody's complaining in there. <coughs> They're saying, oh, I was fiddling around with my stream for six minutes while I was watching. I was starting, rebooting, <laughs> restarting, closing the browser. And I was like, thank you for your trust in me. <laughs> but it is unwarranted at this point. You're, I have betrayed your trust. <laughs> and and then okay i'm like okay i do it on the fly during last show get it within you know it's fine and then in post i fixed up the show to post on youtube i chopped it into bits readjusted everything it's perfect because that's what i do for a job it, part of my job is, as a filmmaker in the editing suite is to sync up video and sound because they're recorded separately when you make movies uh the atari vcs has flatulence yes it <laughs> <laughs> and if you look at the waveform of that it's actually too boop boop oh. doo -doo, because i think one is too short you wouldn't be able to hear it but anyway it does two if you look yeah, at the yeah. waveform it's very annoying so you have to sync it with the first one um okay so it screwed up i do it on the fly last show i save it uh the last second you know at the beginning of the show it's good enough um then i go to set it up today before the show a couple hours before the show and it's going nuts again i have no idea what's going on i i set things to the proper you know proper sync and i record it and it's out of sync and then i change it to you know how offset it is and it was like um one it was like 800 milliseconds off or something so i go boop 800 milliseconds change the it was just this that was off the microphone i push it forward and then i record it watch it back again and now it's too far forward i'm like what is going on <laughs> then i slowly inch it back and then i end up where i started and now it's perfect again and i'm like going what is happening here am i going crazy <laughs> It was set to that to begin with and it was off and then i'm thinking oh it has to warm up or something okay it starts and it strays and then it gets into sync or something 
I'm like, okay. That's horrible. But it is horrible, okay. but fine. I'll, sure. I would let it run for a bit or something. That is not the case. That's not it. Yeah. That is not it. It took me a long time to figure out what the problem was. There is a bug in the software that if you put in the right thing and start the program, it does not pay attention to that setting. You have to change, you have to change the setting. It, and then it's like... And then it's like, oh, oh it kicks we're it in. using the settings. Oh, I didn't... We're using the settings? Oh, okay. Oh, the well, settings. settings. Oh, oh, that's what you wanted to do. The oh, settings. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> I figured it out. It's a bug. It doesn't pay attention until you change the settings to anything you want. But as long as you end up on the thing you do want and change it at least once, then it's fine. Wonderful. So now when I start the program, I just have to change it and it's fine, but I can't not change it. It's like, why do things have to be like this? Why do they have to be just like uh, almost working and, but not quite. Yeah. So I'm going to submit a bug because bug report, because that's infuriating. That's insane. So now it should be perfectly on time. I know how to fix it. It's annoying that I have to do that every time, but it works. Ah, uh, okay. And also this microphone. Yeah, you're like, why do we have the new microphone? Because a couple of shows ago, um, Daryl Spice Jr. is like, Darcy's really loud. <laughs> and he's oh, because I'm tall. Yes, and close. <laughs> maybe. And he's distorting the microphone. Or you are loud, too. You're no, loud. You I, yell. I don't you get yell. <laughs> you sound like my wife. <laughs> hmm. Hmm, it's not yelling, here? I'm talking loudly. Yes. Anyway, the the <laughs> microphone we used previously is a shotgun microphone, and it is engineered to be super sensitive. And the one I'm using now is a radio microphone, which has a higher dB threshold. Right, right. It's about 30 more dB it can stand, so, you know, up to a jet plane. So it should be okay for you. No, it's not quite there. Darcy's really good at projecting his voice, yes. Let us know if it is distorting. I do have it set to a limiter of uh, minus 6 dB, which should be nice, but good enough. But you can't fix distortion at the source of the microphone. If it's hitting the maximum, all I need to do is just move that further, further away. away. Yeah. yeah and then just turn up the volume. So please let us know if Darcy is making like also distorting speakers Let us out. know if James is doing that too. You, yes. Not just please. if I'm doing Or the cats. It. Or the cats. <laughs> or some other source. <laughs> of distortion. Does not have to be a Darcy specific no, complaint. No, we're not pointing fingers at anyone. But... <laughs> okay. Uh, the next piece of news uh, is actually really exciting. We are going to hold a marathon fundraiser later in the year for the amazing program Stella. And if you don't know what Stella is, it is the Atari 2600 emulator uh -huh. uh, for Windows, Mac, runs on Raspberry Pi, Linux, um, a whole other raft of uh, other operating systems as well and he completely runs on donations and i use the program extensively for testing um, programs before i put it on the show um, so i know that if it's going to skip um, do a bad line count and do um, and flip out the program flip out my right, friend right. or the tv so i just watch like it's alt l and you can see the line count and it should be like s static 262 usually 262 and if it strays from that, I know that it's going to flip out the TV. Right, right. So it's super helpful, and it's really quick to be able to just run it on the PC and go, oh, that's a cool game. I'll put it on the show. Uh, Dar Darcy's not allowed overall. Just when did in game. Just what? Okay. Dies. Just when you die in the game. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Then the anger happens. It's not anger. The it's... projections. The anguish. Anger. Anguish. Anguish. Yes. Yes, that's even better. <laughs> so I was talking with um, Steve, who maintains Stella. I do die a lot in games. Sorry. It's true. <laughs> Back to the Everybody Stella. dies eventually in a game. Unless you win it first time. Yeah, that's true. Which is possible. Um, so I was talking with Steve, uh, who maintains Stella. And he said, thumbs up on that. So we're good to go. I don't know when it's going to be. It's going to be late summer, early fall or something. 
I want to get some plans together for it. It's going to be like, you know, at least a 12 hour marathon. So a nice full day so that people all around the world can watch it as well. Somebody from Australia watched last episode, actually. Oh, nice. Um, and actually they're like a couple, stop destroying the couch. Not you, Darcy, the cat that you may not be able to see. Um, uh, yeah, Steve, Steve says it's good to go thrust. Um, so, uh, what we're going to do is have like a 12 hour marathon or something or more and start ra and raise money for Stella because he runs on donations and for equipment for testing because he has to compare the actual output from an Atari to make sure it emulates perfectly. Right, right. So that, you know, when you play your game on your PC, it's going to approximate what happens on right. the 2600. Yeah, and there's yeah. a lot of different variations of the 26 yeah, on, of it. the VCS, let's say. 2600 is the uh, you know the Atari Junior. There is the six switch, and there's the four switch. There's the heavy sixer. There is like the Coleco plug-in, the Intellivision plug-in, the Atari Fifty Two Hundred, the Atari Seventy Eight Hundred adapters. Is this Junior just because it's made of plastic and small? <laughs> uh, like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, but it's an Atari. It's smaller because yeah, it doesn't yeah. actually say Junior on this. But yeah, yeah. I think that is is that its official name? Do you know, or is that its unofficial name? Um, because that was not the named the 2600 to begin with. That was just its num like model Right, number. right, yeah, yeah. And people just started calling it the 2600. It was originally called the uh, Video Computer System. Is that it? Video Computer System. VCS, so VCS, yeah. yes. Yeah. So that's where that comes. I have Stella in my AA signature. Awesome. Yes, anything to support Stella. So some ideas I've come up with so far for doing during the marathon is um, <clears throat> if you donate, you get to make a game suggestion of what we play next um, or game challenges, you know. Um, so here you have to do this in this game in this way, hit, hit this score or something or finish this game or get to this level. Um, or and, it, and it's a good time for me to start complete some games that we didn't have time for it's like, oh, I started that game, but we haven't come back to it. Right, yeah. We only yeah. played it for, had an hour to play it, or half an hour, and that wasn't long enough. Yeah. Especially yeah. the adventure games. Those yeah. Take lots take of time. Long time, yeah. Like, one, I had to come back three different episodes <laughs> to finish it. They take a long time. Um, and also get some donated prizes from developers or other people and auction those off for the highest bidder to raise money for Stella. And 100% of the money raised goes to Stella, the Stella. Um, That's no longer your water. <laughs> uh, the, cat, the cat just drank some water out of my cup. Uh, around here we call it cat water. It turns yes. into cat water as soon as yes. this tongue gets stuck Well, really, there. it becomes cat water the moment you stop looking at it. It, that is true. If you leave the room, it becomes cat water yeah. immediately. I, you don't have to leave the room, as you can see. You just have to lose track of your water, in which case, it is just fair to assume it's cat water. It is, yes. Yeah. Um, so, Mr. Frick says, Stella's on my laptop when I go out and take it for me, f with me for 2600 goodness. What are you getting into? Okay. <laughs> Hexall might have to say goodbye soon. Um, and Thrust26 <laughs> says he donates code. Yes, a lot of the developers... Because they're developing games, they know what it's supposed to look like, and they'll test it on a real right, 2600. Right. And a lot of these guys are pushing the limits of what a 2600 can do, or they're doing new tricks all the time. Yeah, so the one they're the ones that are making a, a change required. Yeah, so yeah. they're like, oh, this is this does this on a real hardware. It's not quite doing it on this on Stella, so they submit you know bug bug reports. Yeah. But they're not really bug reports and more like updates yeah, because yeah. it's never been done before so how would you know to emulate it and it is a crazy system the the atari 2600 you can do so much craziness with it i mean i guess if it's an emulator it is a bug report because it's I like you're so. saying it's an emulator it and it's not emulating therefore <laughs> bug that's true yeah it is a bug <laughs> i might be wrong but that, that's i think my, that yeah. it could be viewed as both but yes technically it would be a bug yeah. because it is not doing something correctly. <clears throat> um, so if anybody else has any suggestions, you can post it in uh, the chat here or on YouTube after, if you watch this after uh, we stream, or in the Atari Age forums, you can contact me or 
Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. Twitch, if you want, don't don't message me on Twitch. It has the worst messaging system ever. It's terrible. It's not like an inbox. It's like you see it, or you, you can don't. answer it, and it goes away after. There's no record. Wow. It's it's to te so terrible. Uh, we call it an issue. <laughs> That's a nice polite way. It's an issue. It's not an update. It's not a bug. It's an issue. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to get on to the games now. The first one is... Miss what games? On a game <clears throat> show? That's crazy. <laughs> Madness. So the first one is uh, a game that I have not put on i've not put any of these on my cart oh my god that's the one thing i forgot to do oh i need to write out a procedure so i don't miss anything but it should take no time at all here and the cat is your t-shirt is is uh lying right it now. is incorrect i am not ready <laughs> so <laughs> that's funny i just i only just this moment realized what shirt you were wearing <laughs> i didn't notice it before and I looked over there on the camera and I was oh. like, oh, and it was something about your shirt that was wrong. <laughs> there, it's just not right. Um, and we've been making actual improvements to the show quite a bit recently. Um, <clears throat> the Atari, oh, come on, wake up, computer. Uh, we found out the colors scheme was all wrong for the longest time because there's a little button on the back of the Atari. Oh. Are you going to cause trouble? Yep. Snap my buttons. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Now it's turned into a sweat box. <laughs> the cat likes to step on the uh, the mixer because it is warm. <laughs> and cats love the they warmness. Love some warm. So we have Miss Galactopus and then Dot and Breakout 2000. There we go. Luckily, Atari games are the smallest things ever. And it takes no time to copy them over. Which is a big, big advantage. And done. There we go. Oh, terrible. Unprepared. So unprofessional. There we go. Hopefully that works. Yes. There we go. Yay. Okay. So today's date is the 11th, and we're going to play Miss Galactopus first, which is made by. Which one are we? Care you, uh, the bottom one. Care you, Yojimbo. And <clears throat> this game was first posted in the Atari Age forums on October 16th, 2016. So it's two and a bit years in the making. And this build is from two hours ago. <laughs> so it is very new. I'm just going to turn down the volume on the TV a little bit so it doesn't interfere. There we go. Oh, angry. Angry mama. Um, so we covered a very Galactopus Christmas on our uh, December 19th show, uh, which was a half of this program, so we've never actually played the original program of Miss Galactopus. Uh, welcome, Arena Foot. Uh, good luck on your uh, job application, job hunt. Um, it's been a long week, James. You're forgiven for such mistakes at this time. Well, thank you, Gretams. Such a forgiving audience we have. It is wonderful. Uh, so, uh, this was originally posted on October 16th, 2016. Miss Galactopus sat at home, waiting for her husband to return from Earth with food for their children. And by food, I mean delicious humans. Earth is very far from Galactopia, and they have a lot of children. Uh, so she knew the wait would be long. Is the volume loud enough for the game? I did turn it down. It's oh, it's hard to tell. I should put on headphones to make sure. Um, but this has been too long. Something happened to her husband on Earth, and now she's going to find out what. Given our history with Galactopuses, we aren't going to let just another one str casually stroll into our atmosphere. We built a defense shield around the entire planet, 
and station a squadron of our best fighter pilots around the perimeter as one of those pilots. Your I, was just gonna, I was just starting to worry that I was one of those pilots. You are one of Earth those pilots. Earth is doomed. <laughs> Earth is doomed! <laughs> Your only uh -oh. defense. Oh, Earth is very doomed. We left a little tiny pixel. Oh, you still have another life. You're still okay. Uh... Your mission is to drive Miss Galactopus away from the Earth with your laser blasts. Keep an eye on her babies. They can't hurt your ship, but they weaken the defense shields as they collide with it, which is the bottom thing. If one breaks through, it's game over. Controls, use the left joystick to move your ship left and right. Press the fire button to fire a laser blast. Left difficulty B. Uh, pressing reset, reset your shot. Left difficulty A must re wait for your shot to clear the screen before firing it. So we have it on the reset right now. Uh, right difficulty B, your shots can destroy a baby even if it's overlapping your ship. Ah. Right difficulty A, shots only harm babies if they're higher than your ship. So we have it on the easy difficulty right now. No, this is he's lying. <laughs> we have it on the normal difficulty right now. <laughs> Not the easy. Uh... Color black and white pauses the game. I love that when they put in the pause. Oh, you have no shields now. No shields. That's one strategy. I guess it works pretty good, doesn't it? But you have to wait till they get down to the bottom. No, I, that's not my strategy. That's my failure to understand <laughs> the bullets. Ah, how. how the bullets can be recalled. Yeah. Um, it's just that I realized they have to get shot more than once. Now. Oh, yeah. Because I'm at such an advanced level. You're way past what a normal human would <clears throat> normally play. 24, 5, 5. So you get 15 points a baby? You aren't shooting the mom, though. I'm trying, but she just keeps... Oh, you made it to the next level anyway? Yeah, if you kill enough of her baby, she cries and oh. goes away. And then you have to do this, like, I don't know if it's a bonus round or Looks like what. a bonus round. I and bet they can like, still kill you if they get through. This is the dissuasion round in which you dissuade the babies <laughs> from Because they do rough. go back. They, go they don't die. They don't die. You're just like forcing them back. And then Jump. they start to get faster the more you beat them. Mm. They wriggle and wriggle. <laughs> this is this is, uh, this is is reminiscent of my, uh, my uh, sci-fi uh, book trilogy. Ah! Oh, you got, I think no, you got it? No. No, oh, because oh. they don't explode. They oh. just go away. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it would have gone back up. Whoa. Okay. When you hit them... Oh! oh. 20, game over. The, the goal is to shoot... Oh, no, that's game over. The goal is to shoot the big Galactopus. Yeah, and it's just... In the first round, it was easier to do, but then she... She foiled me. 2895, somebody type that in the chat, please. Rena Foot is searching for jobs. He uh, can't do the scores today. <laughs> okay, Miss Galactopus. There we go. Oh, she gets angry. There you go. Yeah. Oh, oh I almost hit her, but I recall you my can, shot. You can get the... I don't know. Can you get the baby before it drops? I... It doesn't seem like you can, but I swear I did. So I must have gotten it just as it dropped before. Oh, maybe. And I thought it was... Like, it didn't appear to have moved yet. Death! I do it. Death to Galactopuses. They are the invading force. Yeah. So I feel justified in destroying them. Oh, I didn't go to a bonus round. Maybe that's... If you destroy her, you don't have to do the bonus round? Don't have to do? See how you're... <laughs> see how you're trying to diminish my <laughs> method of doing it? Oh... <laughs> the, the extra bonus round you got was punishment. Uh, That's what you're saying. Uh, well, we'll see. Oh. I don't think. I think it's now bonus round. Look at that score. Nobody cares about your. Oh score. no! Now it's bonus round. So. <laughs> Twenty-eight ninety-five. Oh, and put a J beside it so we know whose score it is. You definitely Red get. Ums, please. He put my name after it. Okay, not J. Sorry, D. Yeah, good. Thank um, you, thrust. Galactopuses so, or Galactopi? Passing the way that I did most of the rounds, I killed her once, but mm. uh, seems to get you less points. I think killing her gets you more points. Seems to. Because you're on your first bonus round. Right. And, and almost you're there. almost to where the points I had. Oh, 
Of course, I have the advantage of seeing your gameplay. What? So, I know a little bit more how to play. Ooh, I, oh my god. That was a bad move. I should. Oh, two yeah, shots. Yeah, you gotta shoot him twice now. That's why. Yeah. Nope, I shot that baby when it was in the mother's loving arms. And uh, it did not uh, take it down a notch. Yeah, it's that, like, you can shoot it the moment that it's no longer in her arms, but hasn't quite moved yet, I think. Right. It's, uh, so it's kind of acts as a Very shield early on, I got the wrong impression, uh, because I fired, and it died. <laughs> it, in her, it went seemingly in her arms. Right. That is a good tactic, though. Like, rapid fire, if they're close. Yes. Thrust says Galactipussy. <laughs> Not Galactipi. Uh oh. Now we're in trouble. Shoot it a bunch of times. Is she closer now? I think a little lower. She is closer, yeah. So you don't have as much reaction time. But it's actually but easier, it's easier to, to shoot her. That's true. But it wasn't easier for me to hit her because she was doing less back and forth. She was doing more short trips. Oh, I'm pushing her up a bit. A little ah, bit. Ah, I see. That's kind of good. Come on. Ah. Let's make you up a little bit. See what I mean with the short trips? And it's, it yes. is harder to get her when she does short trips because to shoot around the baby octopus, you have to, like, you have to shoot where she's going. And if she's yes. never going there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> turns around. Yet. I don't think she's dodging, but she is making it difficult. No, she's not dodging. No. So there's no real AI in anything, any of this. Because the babies aren't tracking you either. Like, there's no relation to what they're doing. See, you got the the method I got. The kill enough babies and you win anyways. Oh, I didn't destroy her? Yeah. But you still get points. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Death to babies. <laughs> that can't that. be taken out it of context. It doesn't mean that. That can't be taken out of context. So are these tracking babies? No, they're just going back and forth now. Come on. Oh! Many shots. Oh my god. I am going to die. You don't even know if you're going to die because you, you don't know how much shield you have left. True. I did suggest um, on the Christmas version of this game, rather than changing the color of the shield, it should just get thinner. Because then you can it's easier to keep track, because like, what shade of blue is this, right? So now it's a little bit lighter, mm -hmm. but it's still hard to know how many, you know, shields you have left. So it's still a work in progress, so that's, that's my big suggestion for it. Good sounds. It could even stay like a thick line, but have a whole bunch of thick lines. Oh, oh, I see. And have it do like exactly what you said. Separated, Without... separated lines, like a, a line, then a space, and a line. Yeah, and and I mean the shield's below you anyway, so it could be like. Yeah. It could be like finite. Anyways. Oh no, no shield. It's almost game over. What is happening? I blame the joystick for that. Six five five zero. I retire. I don't think there's much. Let's put it on hard, actually. It's always good to play all the different variations. So this one, you cannot let the babies touch you. Yeah, there's a problem, isn't there? Oh. Oh, oh no. this is hard. That's why it's hard. You can't recall the bullets on this one. Oh, you have to make the decision between baby and mother. No, you can't you recall can't it. Miss. <laughs> you can't miss. You, thou, thou, no, it's worse than that. It's like... It's really slow, too. <laughs> it is slow. Set number of babies each round. Oh. Uh, the round ends when you push mama to the top or the babies run out. Oh, oh, you have to push her to the top. Oh, that's why subsequent levels are harder, because she starts lower. That makes sense. Good job. 
Johnny Tenspeed, are you the person who made this game, but with a different name in <laughs> in the chat? Are you Kayu Yojimbo? Oh, no. No shields left. But you, you had to adjust to the game when you first started playing. Ah, oh, death. I do like that it's the shield and not you that dies. Yeah, that is that is a nice um, that is a nice change. That you're purely defense. Oh my god, what is wrong? Because uh, it's more than just you have to wait. There's like a delay. There is a bit of a delay. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> no, you can do it. You can get both, but you have to like. You have to fire before it starts dropping. Yes, like now. Mm -hmm. And hopefully hit it, because then you get your bullet back. You get it back still. You can still get the squid at this level. But on future levels, when you have to shoot twice, it might be uh, difficult. It's kind of good that they they realize that to give that option of just running out of babies rather than having to push the mother mm -hmm. up to the top. Because but it's not worth as many points. Nowhere near, nowhere near. Does Unless anyone, you lose points for losing shield or something. Does anyone know why the user's colors are different between the... Yeah, I don't know why that is. The chat the chat on there is different than the chat colors. Yeah, I have noticed that too. I don't know. It's a plug-in. So I guess it doesn't get the colors. Oh, uh, yeah, it doesn't get the information. Like the API that they're using doesn't pass along the, the colors. And they just have to make up their own. Because there's no, there's no option. It's just... just Put the chat and you can change the font and you can change the size but i don't i'll check later and see if there's any color options but um it would be super helpful if it was the same it is very confusing but even so like look at johnny tenspeed and gretam's name it's like orange they're the same. and red yeah they're maybe? like they're so close that it's i think they are orange and red i, th I think that they are if they're different, it's barely. It's a meaningless difference because like it just doesn't look any different. And then, uh, and then it's just totally different on the on the chat that's on the screen, on the stream. Yeah. Congrats! You uh, seem to have a bug in the hard mode. Bug? Did you see a bug? The uh, the delay in the shooting, maybe. Uh, maybe there is a bit like you press the button it doesn't come out and you have to press it again sometimes maybe that's the button oh see it just it's, it's okay. see i pressed it okay yeah press the button yeah there's a, a little yeah. delay yeah that's what i was uh it's like in addition to <laughs> the difficulty on this yeah sometimes but i wasn't sure that that was like wrong because it is hard mode. <laughs> it is, yeah. <laughs> you know, some bullets take a little time to... Or, or lasers. you got to charge the lasers out, right? Boo, shoot. Boo, shoot. 2055. Not bad. Okay, on to the <clears throat> next game. And I'm going to warn you, the next game is bizarre. It's crazy. And also, there's supposedly... You can play it with two players... Uh, Why is it back. that you always get, like, slightly more than double my score? <laughs> it's usually I beat you in hard mode. And by usually, usually I mean once or twice I did, and so now I call that usual. Can somebody else keep score? He's all, uh, Gretems is also job hunting. <laughs> what a lot of job hunting going on here. That is not a good thing. Everybody should be able to have a job. And make money. And then also have some time for fun to watch video games being played by other people <laughs> called that please i always like when i have to plug in a joystick and my face has to go right up against the camera i'm sure everybody enjoys that so much okay okay this do i have to hold the button this no. one okay here you go so this is breakout 2000 by a very contentious uh, forum member, uh, Mr. SQL. If that's what you're asking, I'll take it. Uh, no, that's what I bought it for. <laughs> and that's US. <laughs> so, no, you cannot have it. Uh, 
I got a good deal on it. <laughs> <laughs> I did have to fix it. The, the, the spring gets gets loose after a while here and you have to stretch it out. Um, so this fir was first posted and this build is the same one. So it was just released January 6th, 2019. Uh, so Breakout 2000, the second one, Supercharger version. Oh my god, what is happening? Exactly. <laughs> um, so if anybody has uh, sensitivity to flashing lights, look away. Yeah, because this has a lot of crazy flashing. Oh, my plane? Fast move. Uh, technically, yes, you are. <laughs> Um, so Atari 2600 game program, you play the ball in this Mario World sized 8 way scrolling breakout game. So it, you are the ball in the, in the breakout instead of the paddle at the bottom. And it follows you as you break out everything in the game. Do I use up all my bullets? Um, I believe so. I'm gonna open, <laughs> I'm gonna open the door. open the window. Actually, I'm going to open the window. Very hot. Am I winning? Do I get... Do I win? Am I winning? You're winning! Okay. Yeah, exactly, Mr. Fix. WTF. <laughs> um, oh, the cat stink. Oh my god. Uh, features. New features include color mapping the bricks. Test group really liked it. Uh, this game features also features motion blur reduction technology for crystal clear high speed anima animation. A version of MBR was tested and discarded. I would have to slow this down and lose the pinball feel. Sound has also been improved. What is that thing? That's uh, it says like breakout. Oh. It scrolls up and says breakout. Oh, cool. Um, gameplay: You're equipped with a laser that is recharged every level you clear. So you used up all your lasers. Oh, does that? <laughs> How big is this board? Mario uh, size. Mario size board. That's what it said. In oh, did you do it? Looks like you flashed somewhere else, and it seems less broken. Yeah. Oh, it seems as though well, there I've you broken go. out less. There you go. Oh, that's awesome. Just like in Breakout when you're at the top. Oh, it's a Breakout down there. That's what I was saying. No, it the scrolls. thing that's moving around. The it, thing that scrolls that? up says Breakout. Oh, that's kind of cool, too. So now the board says Breakout. Psst. Why? 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 How do I know when I'm winning? Uh, well, you cleared the board. Uh, multiplayer. And a second player can join in any time, but they play like Tails. The camera always play follows player one. So I can play as well, but I'm not on the screen all the time. I have to find myself on the screen. Okay, where am I? Where am I? Oh, is that me? I saw something. Nope, it's not me. There I am. Oh, I can't follow you. What, that's you? Do I you? help, though? Can I shoot? But you don't look like a ball. No, I look like a, a watch. I think I was able. That's cool. There you go. Destroy that top part. So you have a bit of control, right? Yeah, it, and like, sometimes you can even run straight if you get to Oh! Light. Oh, that's good. I believe that's a bug, though. I think it's because you're at the top. Yeah, I've gotten it in the middle, too, sometimes. I think what it is, like, you can be... If you're at the bottom where it could scroll down, but if you have the control in the right spot, it'll hold you in that spot sometimes. Thrust26 says I have to look away and mute. <laughs> it is quite in in intense. It is insane. And we probably won't spend too much, because there's not much more to this than what you're seeing here. And no score, so... There's still no score. So are you winning? We don't I am know. Winning. I am winning. I think you just have to clear the whole board. It's. it's I don't think you have to clear the whole board, because, or maybe... See, it just reset, so it oh. might be a timer. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, shoot, yeah shoot, I must shoot. have gone on a new level because I got bullets again. Yeah. It's more of a interesting exercise in gameplay because of the eight-way scrolling. But, um, oh, okay, we're going to switch away. People can't watch this. There we go. It is very intense. Probably at full screen, it's, like, brutal. <laughs> So that is, uh, that's interesting. I wouldn't call it a full 
full-fledged game because there's no score. It's hard to tell when the level's ending. I mean, it is a game. Anything you can control and there's objectives. But you have to be able to win. Uh, and lose. You did you did finish a level. And but you have so to be able to win and lose, I don't know. Yeah, you can't that's it. You can't lose in this. Yeah. Like how do you die? No, you I don't. and I mean we all know I am very good at dying. And also the game plays itself. That's true. <laughs> but <laughs> that's... I don't know if that disqualifies it. It might, but I don't know if Maybe. that necessarily... Does. No, because there's some games that you can't die in, like kids' games, and they're just fun to play. And we all we all say things like, this is in the game. Yeah, <laughs> calm down. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's too easy, this is not a game. Yeah. So, technically, it, fall, it qualifies as a game, um, but it's, it's interesting, hard to watch, uh, and uh, very interesting. <laughs> um, I think Monopoly, the way that it's written in the rules, not the way yeah. we play it, but the way it's written in the rules, isn't actually a game in that you don't have any decisions to make. Like, when you land on a spot, you... You have to buy you it? You have to buy it. Really? Oh, Something wow. like that. That's funny. But nobody plays it that way. Yeah, nobody plays it <laughs> Because, yeah, if somebody else lands on your spot, you have to pay. Mm -hmm. um, you can make a decision on houses and hotels, but you don't have to do it. The game can continue without you building houses and hotels, Yeah. right? So it would just be a, a slower game. Why do you cats have to, have to get into things? They aren't into things. They are participating. <laughs> they are part of the team. Ah. They're like, ah, we are in this room, all of us, the family. We're in this room. We're doing things. And we're just trying to replicate what you're doing. You're touching the keyboard. I want to touch the keyboard. Tick attack, 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 attack. No. And they, okay, they're button. always looking for the opportunity to show off oh, their innate yeah. sense of UI disabling uh, <laughs> shortcuts. They always have the shortcut. It's like... Streams over, click. No more audio, click. For me, it's like minimizing everything. If you play a game, it's oh, like yeah, they yeah. remove the HUD. The game is there. You can continue <laughs> playing, but you have no information and no idea how to bring the HUD back up because and you're going to die. But the cat always knows that button. Because it's always like a multiple button press it that is. no human would Go choose. Boof. But that cats instinctively find. Technically its purpose is to make you sick, Mr. Fix says. Well last one? It uh, yes yeah oh I have to no not instructions that won't work <laughs> yes that one so this is a uh, multi a game or a mini game compilation um, can they see it yes yes they can this is made by Simone Sarah uh, A.K.A. Simo uh, it was first posted in the Atari Age forums uh, March thirteenth <coughs> two thousand nine. And this build is from February 11th, 2013, so it is six years old. But I have not played it yet. We did play Let It Snow, not, at <laughs> during our uh, holiday homebrew um, stuff. That's from um, 1998. It is. Well, 2000, 2009, I guess. <laughs> um, but it is still 1990. Um, but unfortunately, Simo has not been in the Atari Age forum since 2015, so I doubt they'll ever know that we played it on the show um, but you never know maybe they'll be alerted to it so the, the games that are included are 15 Atlas Doris let it slow snow not we'll briefly revisit that one because we've done it before but I want to do it do all of them for completeness mm -hmm. needles rest tint waka and alien radio um, so go for 15 and I'm going to load up the instructions. Oh, this looks like a 3D game. Oh, is this, is this paddle? No, usually it's not second player. Is this paddle? Oh, it might be paddle. All I know is so far I'm winning. <laughs> and not losing? Smash! Oh, I hit another car. Why was that car parked on the road? Well, cars are parked on the road. You, you know they're on the, the side. Rollerball? Will that work? No, that emulates a joystick. Oh, that's too bad. In joystick mode, and will not work at all in rollerball mode for sure. Oh. Really? It won't do paddles in 
the equivalent of two paddles on a rollerball nope. mode? Nope, 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 nope. Oh. It will not. This makes me sad. It is sad. Okay. Try now? No. Try now? No, that won't work at all. Nope. No. No. Maybe it's a driving? Maybe I should read the instructions? <laughs> no, that's not that's not our way. That's not our way. That is our not our way here. Ah! Wait. No. Okay, let's try the driving. CMOS games are odd, but in a good way. Yes, they're very simple, very so odd. Driving. This yeah. is it's a, a different type it's a of solo paddle. paddle. It's wow. a different type of input. It spins 100% around. But that doesn't explain why does. these paddles won't uh, control the uh, ah, menu. That's the one. Right. Uh, it does explain why they won't control the menu, because this one does. Oh, because this is the menu in the game. I yes. Oh, whoa, that was weird. <laughs> And it doesn't work? No. Oh my god. What the hell is happening? Oh, wait. No. <laughs> That's the side of the road, man. <laughs> Squishing you? Okay, I'm going to actually read the instructions. Did anyone see what my high score from last game was? <laughs> <laughs> wait, it seemed to do something there. Pole is closed. Okay, let's see. Games. Bronze. Atari Homebrew. Oh, I moved. Did something you? moved me. Was it the side of the screen? Did no, you but hit it something? wasn't the side. But it fell. Oh, something moved again there, and it. I try moving. I'm gonna try not paddle. moving, and then see if it still moves at some times. <laughs> because try I'm... try the full spin of the paddle, don't because some of these are. No, try the other way. It did. Oh, it is working a little bit. What the hell? Okay, wow. I'm loading up the instructions. We'll know in a second. What the hell's going on with this game? Okay. Drive across Highway 15, collect precious wrenches. What? Every once in a while it'll uh, scoot off and... Left side. or right to steer your car. It is joysticks. Okay, we're going back to joysticks. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. It's, we already determined it's not this one. Back to the joystick. Enjoy my pretty face in the camera. Okay. <laughs> it's not working? Am I pushing the joystick in the wrong direction? What is happening? Nobody knows. Uh, has anybody yet to... seen what score I had? <laughs> I'm just wondering if I'm screen. getting better. Uh oh. Uh oh. Touched oh, you. you... The power cable. What's that? I touched the power cable. Oh, uh, I thought you unplugged this while it was like oh, uh, no. telling it to go one way. We're going to try a more basic joystick and not so complicated. <clears throat> so let's try this one. Sadness! What is happening? Well, we're not playing Dot. <laughs> or not playing 15, anyway. I don't know what's going on, so we're going to play uh, Atlas. Atlas. That offset is your 2600 glitch. Oh. Think it's glitching? Oh, you want oh. Let's try it. No, I don't have my Atari uh -oh. box plugged in. Weird. Works perfect in Stella. <gasps> it's my glitch. How can the glitch affect how the joystick input is done? That's a terrible glitch. Ah! Also looks wrong on your console. Oh. <gasps> oh. Interesting. That's the first game that doesn't work on my console. What happened? Uh, I don't know. Let's read the instructions. Time? So this is Atlas. Atlas is a quick puzzle game where you start the game with a cell placed what in happens? the center of the screen and have to move it around the play field in oh. order to get the, oh. near oh. the moving blue object. Once the blue object, object is near any of your cells, it turns itself into a cell and your score increases. Each blue object has a timer. Mm -hmm. If you fail, yeah, to turn it into, <laughs> fail to turn it into a cell before the timer expires, it's game over. The blue object becomes yellow as its timer approaches ah. zero. <laughs> The play field oh. is patrolled by two red, red enemy objects. If any of them collides with a cell, it's game over! Every time you collect enough blue objects, you will reach, reach a new level, uh, the play field will be cleared. And you'll gain enemies, an enemy stopper that can be used to temporarily stop and neutralize the object. Press fire to use the enemy stopper. Well... Uh, Thrust and Ice Bosta. That is an interesting development that that game 
does just doesn't work on my console because of a video glitch. That's really that's the first time. What does it have to do with your the game was working fine. Why does it stop the controller from working? Yeah, that's the bigger question. That's never happened. We've seen video glitches because I have a very special, as Thomas puts it, a special 2600. <laughs> because there's timing issues with the color. So that if it doesn't change the color at the exact right time, there'll be like a little glitch of color. Or extra pixels that are flashing on and off. Or something like that. But never game breaking. You can always play it. And it didn't really, like, break the game. No, the game kind of played. It was the controls that were... Ugh. 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 Is this on hard mode? Uh, maybe. I don't think I switched back the switches. <gasps> maybe that's the thing. Maybe the switches are didn't cause the other game not to play. We will find out after this. Oh, I'm big! I'm too big! See, it's hard at first because you're small to catch them. Yeah. But then it becomes hard for a different reason. Actually, I found that it was surprising how quickly uh, you caught on to the small one, even when you were small. But it, it does get definitely harder as you get uh, bigger and blockier. Ah! Uh, This is the same person who made um, Omnicron. Um, this Omnicron was actually in this compilation previously, but then they took it out and made it its own game because people really, oh, liked it. Do you know how many you need? I think it was pretty close. I did play this on an emulator, and I did make it to second level when I was testing it out. On a what? On what the did you say? On a what? A terrible... You played on an... On a emulator. <laughs> I spit on you. On an emulator. <laughs> that is forbidden. Verbal then. Oh, I'm getting very wide. Oh, you Yay! got it. Now you're green. I am green with a green border. Now you are the color of win. Yes. But you are much larger than you had been on the previous one at this point. Uh, uh, uh. It's hard because you can't. Oh, 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 and like, and, and all, the, all the the shit talking amounted <laughs> to nothing. I just egged you on. That's right. I'll prove you wrong. I'll prove you all wrong. You'll see. Oh, 65. Oh, but you sort of a phoenixy birdie thing there. Swoosh. Something new. Even Stella's new glitch emulation does not rep reproduce your 15 nope. glitch. Oh, I ran out of time. I know. Get it! Get it! Get it! Ah! I'd rather die there than... Go, James, go, Mr. Fixhead. Yeah, I love go. the simplicity of Simo's I... games. They're just so... They're so simple, yet the gameplay is very challenging. No! no! Oh, it wasn't 60. Oh, it was 65. It flashes the top score. Boo! <laughs> is it straight the number that you get? I think that I it think, is. Yeah, because you got three and it was three. Get it? Yeah! Oh. No! Red Dot, why you gotta play me like that? <laughs> I uh -oh. find after the first couple, it's easier to watch out for the Red Dots rather than get the thing you're going after. Yeah. Because you're so big that it's... You more eventually get them, yeah. Yeah, it's more important that you just stay out of the way and kind of move in the general direction. Of it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. No! Um, it was worth the sacrifice. I don't know if there's any. Yeah, we're both on A. I'm gonna switch it to B. I don't know if that'll make any difference in this game, but it might in the other game. Notice you how you only get to play once, and I play like well, you as many times it... until I get bored. You gotta make it to the second level. No, got I to. don't. You got to. No, I don't. You <laughs> got to. No! <laughs> no! See, if you're really skillful, you can make a picture with the dots as you gather them. So you really want to make like <sighs> a round thing building out. Uh, and that's... 
makes it a little bit easier. Because once you start building vertically or horizontally, it is uh, challenging. So that's not bad. That's not bad. But you don't really have a lot of choice most ah! of the time. <laughs> You're making a big branch. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to give it one more go. Oh, I wasn't oh, paying attention. Two goes. Two more goes. Well, one more proper go. Oh, I, meant, I ah! see. See, that's not a proper go either. <laughs> proper go is making to at least the second level. Oh, why? Why? Diagonal line. Don't be diagonal. You're getting too big. <laughs> getting too big and stick like. Doesn't ah! matter. Oh, it does matter. It's too big. I think you need 30. 30 per level? Yeah. 30 is a lot. Well, you uh, had 65. Ah! Uh, oh, true. And, and I just barely made it into the third. And then a couple level. of times when you died, you were. It looked like you must be doing really well. And I looked and it was about 25 or oh, something. So I almost made it. Yeah, just a avoid the red. Oh, oh, too big. 22, I think it was. That was 22, yeah. You have to. Oh, oh. Have to watch the. Oh my god, that was terrible. You really have to watch the pattern of the two reds once you get big, mm. to kind of um, anticipate where the big gap is going to be. Yeah. And that is not easy while trying to avoid them. You didn't even try to avoid them that time. <laughs> Apparently not. It was terrible. Terrible. Oh, 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 nice shape, nice shape. Oh, getting, uh oh, getting difficult. <laughs> You're building shape it. is not good. Oh, it's a person with a dog. Uh, on leash. come on, doggy. <laughs> okay, one more, and that's it. And also, and we'll you have on. like a bird on your shoulder. <laughs> I don't know why you need to walk your dog and your bird at the same time. Oh, now you got the dog. Oh, no, it's a reindeer the first. The reindeer. Now it's uh, glasses, eyeglasses. Oh, back to an animal on a pogo stick. Uh. Now it's an owl turned sideways making like, ah, like, death. like a look, some sort of look. That was 25. Ah, 25. Okay. That means you did really well on your third go. On the really third, well. third level, yeah. Beginner's luck. So let's try out the first game again, 15, okay. and see if the, the, there it is. Okay. Yeah, the colors It's not are... my glitchy, terrible Am I trying to get those color things? So, stop blaming my VCS. Now that's weird. Maybe it's in the options that it's like a, there's a, a 3D version. Because that kind of looked 3D, didn't it? Like it had the separations of the lines. Oh, it is a 3D. Oh, and you can switch between joystick and driving controller. See? It helps reading the instructions. Oh no! Um, I wonder if my score is higher than it was before. 474. Oh. Uh, drive across Highway 15 and collect precious wrenches, but watch out for oncoming traffic. When your car is hit by another car, it becomes damaged, and its maximum speed is reduced. Periodically, a wrench will appear oh. on the road. Catching it will repair your car, so you want the wrenches. Uh, or will award you bonus points if your car is not damaged. Missing a wrench when your car is damaged will result in a game over. Oh, oh so you have to get the wrenches. You don't just need to get them. You have to get them. Uh, fire to start the game, uh, hold fire to accelerate, and uh, release it to decelerate. Left and right to steer the car. Select, switch to choose between music and <coughs> engine tire effects. Oh, okay. Um, I have to read a bit more. Use the right difficulty switch to select between joystick and driving. Okay, so we're on the joystick now. Oh, remembers your high score. That's good. And left difficulty switch to between 2D and 3D. It still doesn't explain why the driving controller and joystick weren't working when we had them switch to A. That's very strange. So the credits for this one, game idea, Nathan Strum, graphics, Nathan Strum and Pac-Man Red, music, the Golden Band, controls, Thomas Jens, and Eckhart Stolberg. Interesting. That time I got 152, the first time I got 1,007. Hmm. How? I, I, I don't... I, 
You're supposed to get these? I didn't talk about these things. But I think those all. are the things you get points for. Ah! But I that's crashed. the thing you're not supposed to do. Even I missed the first card, James. That's a, that's a wrench. That's a wrench? Oh, it's one of those ones that have tightening things on both sides. Both ends. And a hole in the middle. Ah! That's a car. And I don't know what those are. Set wrenches. Know. Yeah, that's a wrench. <clears throat> you're supposed to pick... You're getting points for them, so you're supposed to pick them up. Yeah. You cannot move... And if you pull the trigger, it sometimes speeds you up. Yeah, it's not doing it now. It's weird. I had one time I was holding it and I was, oh, and I was going fast. really fast. Need a wrench. Or not. And then I slowed down and I think it might be a boost. Oh. I don't know what you, ah. like, I don't know why you need to boost. It's not like the cars need to be <laughs> passed or anything. And I don't want to go any faster than this. This is plenty fast. It's very hard to dodge the cars. I think it would be ah. easier. Um, what is happening? You are hit, yes. Oh, in general I'm hit. Okay. Ah! <sighs> so let's hear with the engine noise. Instead of music. Yeah. Oh. Dude, you need a wrench. Get it! Get it! I didn't even go past it! <laughs> I guess it anticipated that. No, you're not getting it. You're not getting that wrench. You're too far away. Hmm. That ah. seems... Uh... So green, I'm fully fine. Oh, blue. Did I hit it? Oh yeah, I'm all damaged a bit. <coughs> oh, and then red. They're red when you hit it, but then you're just damaged in blue. What? Controls me? Do 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 Good music. <laughs> kind of happy traveling music. <laughs> <laughs> no! Stay in the middle. Stay in the middle. Ah! Ah! ah. Okay, next game. Here you go. <laughs> that was not bad. <clears throat> yeah. So now we're on to Doris. But it's a simple driving, avoid things kind of game. Doris. Help Doris collect hearts, but watch out for deadly platforms. End of instructions. So we all know that I'm going to be bad at this game. <laughs> so nothing hurts you except for the platforms. Ah! Oh, 54. Get that. Oh, oh. So they don't come down right away. Well, that's funny, the hearts don't move on the play field. Actually, Only it's, it's more like you're platform. not moving, and those things are coming towards That's how you. I see it, yeah. Yes, because it could be taken the other way, which doesn't make any sense, <laughs> where you're moving. Oh, no, a deadly platform! Along, you're moving along a ways, and those platforms are going past you. You're moving past the platforms automatically? That doesn't make any sense. It's more like the platforms are moving towards you. It's just not, oh. not the usual thing. You gotta thing. get the hearts before they disappear. Oh, really? Oh, they are disappearing. I don't know if you die if they... Uh, ah, you die if you touch a platform. 88? 88. Wow, no one will ever beat that score. That's the world record. Of the... Oh. Well, at least you didn't beat my score on the first try. Yes. <laughs> That's something. It's something. That's not nothing. <laughs> oh, and the sound that it makes depends on, oh. on how red it is. Uh, so you want a high pitch sound. Or maybe you get more for it being stale. Who knows? <laughs> mm, doubtful, but maybe. Absence makes the heart growth fonder. Or disappear. <laughs> or disappear entirely, yes. The Depends how, mu how, how much the absence is. Oh. And they're dying Oh, for, come dying on! Quicker. 226. Oh, the faster you get them, more points. Okay. Says thrust, 26. As opposed to thrust some other number. Nope. There's only 26. 
There is only 26. Not 2600! Dangerous when they're at the top, that is for sure. But if you notice, they don't go down the sides too much. They don't get really close to the edges. So you can I was thinking that. what you do is you do that. Yes. You go to the level around and you scoot across in between the mobobbers. I think I'm going to try that. Oh. Didn't work. I, I would <laughs> not try that anymore. That was not a very good system. <laughs> No, it will work. <laughs> It'll work really well, actually. Oh, it is at the side. That one was. Yeah, yeah, but what I mean is not necessarily staying at the side. Oh. But that but find a safe spot over. and then wait till it passes and then just scoot across as the strategy. Yes. Rather than going, ah. rather than trying at all ever to get them up and down. Yes. Except in this case where it almost went away. Maybe the only thing that happens is they become worth less. Maybe they're not uh, actually going to disappear. I'm going to try. <clears throat> Let's Wait, see. see what happens. How stale this heart gets. Oh, it gets redder. It's actually nice. And you die. <laughs> so you don't want it to be that red. Actually, right. it's pretty nice. It should start red and then fade. Wouldn't that be better? Well, what it is is that like it's... green. You are the lungs bringing oxygen into the uh, bloodstream. Yeah. And the heart is getting dark and darker as the blood loses oxygen. Okay. <laughs> I would think it'd be more red. Isn't, uh, doesn't the oxygen make blood red? Uh, oh, yeah, iron. it makes it brighter. Iron makes it... But it makes it brighter. Like, you can, the difference between an artery and a vein is that the veins take blood away take to the heart and arteries take it from the heart and so, the so when you get blue. cut on an artery it's bright red right and when you're cut fresh. on a vein it's like dark okay yeah not that any of that has anything to do with whether or not the heart should be start dark or not <laughs> it's it's just some nonsense that uh, i think i'm currently talking about i think visually it should start red and they fade because it's sad because you haven't got the heart yet I think it should start dark, brighten, and then darken. And if you don't pick it up by the time it darkens the second Cats, time, you're making the colors go crazy. Can and it's worth it's worth the most points. Can you get that cat off there? This one? Yes. Hi, you've been evicted. Come on. Oh, I'm gonna touch you on your pixel. Oh. Oh. Oh, not his butt. Yeah, maybe just push him off there. <laughs> Rare. 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 Oh, Never without angry. my permission. Um, <laughs> I've been violated. It should start dark, get light, and then dark again. And if it, mm, like and a it's black worth, dark, and it's worth the most points when it's light. But uh, so getting it quick doesn't. You want to get it in the middle. Oh, okay. But not right away. <laughs> not that it's wrong the way it is now. I'm just, I'm just adding my unnecessary two, two bits. I doubt they'll be updating it since they haven't logged on to the Atari Age forum for for four years. <laughs> oh, oh, what my hand barely touched <clears throat> it. Okay, it's kind of cool, simplistic, not too bad. My favorite is Atlas so far. We do Let It Snow. Stay down. It's not worth it. It's not worth a man. I uh, do not. No. Oh. Let it snow, not. Help Santa recover the precious snowflakes to be used for Christmas night using his absorbing beam equipped sled. Anyway, I don't have to go through the instructions. You're supposed to zap all. Uh, you quickly figured out the strategy that I did last time. What's that? Zap, 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 as you go across because it pauses you. So you just have to get close to it, then start zapping. But of course, you've, it's built up pretty high already. Cats! Quit it! Meow! Alright, now we have enough snow to use this sled! <laughs> and the red oh, snowflakes um, get rid of a level of snow. Oh, so don't zap them. Well, you do want to zap them. If they oh. don't have to fall, you have to zap them. 
sorry, if you want, what? If you zap them, it gets rid of a level, but if yeah. you don't, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, it just built up. So these red, well, I don't have a level built up, so it's not good. Wasted. Just demonstrated very well here. Oh, I remember this game. This is terrible on the finger. I have to switch. I have to go. What is this called in skateboarding? Tricky foot or... Is a name when you switch feet. When your oh, I, yeah. right foot is in front of your left instead of your left. That might be. Get all reds. Yes, you need to get all the reds when they come up. Anyway, this game is brutal on your finger. It is absolutely terrible. And we've seen it before in the show, so we don't need to see that. We both played it. Okay, needles. Needles. Don't and get that yellow thing. <laughs> Retrieve as many... Get as many of those black things as you can. <laughs> My instincts told me that not to touch the black things, but I just ignored them. Yeah, you oh, and don't let the yellow thing touch the black things. So you're protecting the yellow thing. Yeah, uh, but would... the yellow thing does not care for me. <laughs> he just needs protecting in general. Um, yeah, it would assume when you start this game is like, oh, avoid everything and get the one no. thing. But no, it's get the everything and avoid the one thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's on a oh. suicide mission. Retrieve as many re uh, as many reactors as no possible. No one's ever going to beat 105. On so the we planet can quit needles. Now. But beware, as the name of the planet implies, you will have to avoid the deadly needles. What? Also, re each reactor is. <laughs> I'm catching all the needles. <laughs> also, each reactor is a short amount of time before it becomes useless. So act fast. What? What does that mean? Nobody knows. So this was, uh, the controls were done by Thomas Jentz, who is in the forums. Oh! Actually, most of these controls are done by Thomas Jentz. Oh! Daryl Spice Jr. did the uh, Let It Snow uh, paddle reading sample code. So there is a paddle version of Let It Snow. Uh, and this is controls Thomas Jentz. I guess um, they copied the... Controls Top from another... 110, try to beat that sucker. So you kind of want to hang around the yellow, I guess. As close as you want, can. Ah, yellow, why? Oh! What that wasn't get? 110, that was only 70. 70. That's no good. Nice try, just give up now. Give up now. 30. You're getting worse. I am. Oh, humiliation. It's... Oh, oh, even worse. It's all downhill from here. This is not easy. He's so he's very slidey for people watching. Your guy is like super slidey, and apparently made of fire. Cause he's all red, or he's wearing a red. Oh. Yeah, that's not one ten. That's less than that one ten. That is less than the one ten. That's where I died that a few times 90. At, at ninety. Ah. No. Thrust says, maybe you use some code of mine. Yeah, if you pro if you don't remember collaborating with Simo, I'm guessing he um, copied some control code that you posted at one point. Or maybe he asked asked for advice on control. Oh, stay away. Stay away from... Oh, no, he's on the move. No! What did I get? 95. You did not get 110. Less You've than got... 110. That's right. No! That That's yellow much thing. less than 110. Suicide mission. Oh my god, stay away from the sides. Stay away from the sides. When? Oh when my is somebody god. gonna add voice control to these games so that, that the game will listen to us when we give it warnings like oh. stay away from the sides? I know, no kidding. No! No! <laughs> this is a very unique game. Yeah. Usually the thing you're protecting doesn't kill you as well. <laughs> no. <laughs> I know. It's oh. like No! Oh my god. Oh my god, there's too many. <laughs> Stay away from my reactor. No! Oh my god, how did you get 110? I am so very skilled. Hard. And before I got 110, I got 105. What? It was 105 for a while. Yeah. What? I'm very good at games. Definitely. No! Oh. What did I get? I should click the button so quick. <laughs> I know I did worse because I'm not doing well. <laughs> kind of you want to go in a big loopy circle. Yeah. Well, that's that's a bit better. 
No! <laughs> and the good thing is it always oh. leaves enough room. Oh, you you destroyed my score! One thirty no! five! No! <sighs> I'm done with this game. <laughs> Floppy with volume control would be perfect for Darcy. <laughs> up, 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 down, 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 up, up, up. <laughs> there was, there is a game I saw once that had voice control and you yelled <laughs> at your ball or something and it made it go forward. I can't remember. That's pretty funny. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's I re funny. Remember that uh, mind control game? Yes. Where it was you had to think hard to make the, the thing go up? Relax. Or think no, hard. you had to concentrate. Okay. Yeah. And by think hard, they meant don't think or something. Like, like it was like meditate. Think about nothing. Or something. Yeah. yeah, usually that's. So now we're on rest, which I suspect is a poor name. Poor name. Well, you were patrolling the dangerous corridors of Sector R thirty five T. A collision with an asteroid caused major damage to your ship energy storage unit. So I think I was not... Oh. No? Uh, in order to survive, you must continually absorb energy from the highlighted ground cells. The energy level on your ship is represented by the horizontal bar at the top of your screen. Don't let it reach zero, or it's game over. I Controls. Seem to keep it from being... Press or hold fire... going down. Press or hold fire to absorb energy from the ground and score points. Oh, you're almost dead! While fire is pressed, it is not possible to maneuver your ship. Credits, controls, Thomas Yens. Good on you. Cat! Okay. You be good. Be a good Atari. Be a good Atari. Oh, it uh, I was work? right over the thing and I'm still not getting you got any. got three points. 15 points, 42. Oh. Well, I think you only have to touch it once, and it goes refills to full. Yeah. Oh. Wow, you can barely miss one. <clears throat> Weird. May get out the Atari mind controller. Google it. It was going to be a thing. Somebody should make uh, the third-party add-on for the mind controller. I don't think it ever worked very well. It even still doesn't work very well. I've seen videos of people trying to use similar things and it's like, it kind of works. It's probably better just stay at the bottom because- Except then... that if you miss like that, now you're doomed. Oh, ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I got 27, 87. 87. Oh. I like that oh, each of these games it. has the same oh uh, scoring uh... font. Yeah, because it's mini games all in the same basic thing. I, I like the consistency. That makes sense because it you have to draw your own font in every Atari game. I mean, it... like it's not just the font; it's where it is and oh, like all okay. that. It's very consistent. turn up the sound. This sort of has pheromones. What? <laughs> Phenomes. Phenomes. Ooh. Oh my god, it does. It's a phenom. I am judging from the context that it sounds like a voice. Yeah. It does sound like a voice. That is super cool. And Simo's um, music and sound is always very, very good. That is what they excel at, that's for sure. Yeah, it sounds like an alien is talking to you. Really impressive. You could almost make a voice box out of it. Oh no, I'm dead. If you miss one, you're dead. Um, you have to zoom up. You have to recognize you missed one and immediately zoom up to try and get it as a... Uh, okay. <laughs> the mind link was responsible for the crash. Not E.T. or Pac-Man, Ground Trooper says. I think so. They didn't get it to market quick enough. And, you know, that's what they banked on. They invested a lot of money. They're expecting a lot of return on the mind link. And it just didn't make it. The Atari was 40 years ahead of its time with mind link. And also, uh, there's a controller that I had that I demoed one day 
that it was no. the first. Did I ever show you that controller? I, I got there, but where it was a motion controller. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that was really it's cool. The first motion controller ever put on the market, oh. like thirty years ahead of the Wii, or or any other ones. And it works really well, like really, really well. Except don't open it or ship it in the mail because that would be illegal. Well, you can open it, but shipping in the mail is illegal because it has mercury in it. Back then, not so big a deal. Now, not so nice. It was a big deal. <laughs> big deal, but not recognized. I remember, uh, I remember we had a thermometer at home. It broke. My dad was like, do not touch the stuff that was in the thermometer. <laughs> but you didn't throw it away? It still worked? Or? I don't know if it even had mercury in it. Oh. Um, Some don't. But, Cat. Uh -oh. But there was, ah. uh, the lesson ah, was, was that thermometers might have mercury in them. Do not touch. Cat. It was long enough ago that I can't, you know, can't say I, uh, I to remember actually that. remember the details. But you know? I, I do remember you having a broken thermometer, or telling me the story about it. It doesn't speed up, does it? It seems to be just the same game forever. Yeah, it might be. <laughs> but we just haven't got to a high enough level. The thing is, it moves quite fast, so... Yeah. Actually, speeding up would actually be helpful. Possibly. Well, oh, maybe not, because yeah, yeah. you'd miss it. Yeah. But it would be less time in between. Yeah, I think I've maxed out this. <laughs> Shall I roll the game? So you would? Roll the, roll the score? Huh. That would take a while. That would take a while. Try this. No, it didn't work. Oh, you deplete it. No, it's just that oh, you did didn't get it? one. And if you don't get one, you don't charge. But it so does allow one. for rapid fire. Oh, it's, yeah. 933. Whoa. One demo scene talks that way. I hear Atari in that demo. Oh, really? Is that the mm. uh, hard something hard demo? Hard something? It sounds kind of like that, and it talks, but uh, okay. Next one is tenth. That was not rest. I knew it was. I knew it was a lie. It was the opposite of rest. It was a lot of work. Oh, don't <laughs> touch the sides. <laughs> Do we touch these things? Yes. I love figuring out games like. Nope, that's death. Oh. Um. Is that a different color? Oh, you're orange. You're not green. So don't touch the green ones. Okay, let's see. Blue. blue. Yep. Nope. Okay, you're uh, change your color to collect wrenches scattered on the road. Those are not wrenches. Don't collide with the road. And don't miss a wrench or it'll be game over. Press fire to change your car color. Ah, okay. Uh. So you have to watch and avoid the turns in the game at the same time. And press the button to get it to that point. <laughs> I got 111. No one will ever beat 111! Well, it's not expecting high scores because there's only three digits. Oh, I should have changed it. There's four colors. Ah! Told 80. you I would beat 111. You were right. It's an unbeatable number. Oops. I'm <laughs> not paying attention Can I to say? the colors. Yeah, you maxed it out. You're... World record. Do they cycle? Oh my god. Yeah, they cycle exactly. Mm -hmm. So if you can memorize the color pattern. Or just pay attention to which color is in front of you and know that you don't have to press it more than three times. That's correct. Ah, I beat you. Like there, you. you... No, you didn't. I, don't I got 128. God damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna play one more, then you have to beat my score. Don't leave the ch color changing to too late while you're navigating the road. Oh, and the sides change color too. To mess you up just a little bit. Uh, sometimes it's the same, and you anticipate by pressing at least once, but nope, you don't want to do that. 
Now roll the score. Now roll the score. It's only three digits. This one is possible. So much of the screen that's not doing anything. <gasps> no, didn't roll it. One more for you. No. <laughs> That one's not bad, a little simplistic, Ooh, not fine. a lot of replayability. Uh, waka 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 waka, whoa! Lots of things on the screen. Waka is a simple representation of a soccer match between red and blue teams. On the top of the screen, you can see a kicking, kicking timer bar displayed with the color the team has the ball. Okay, so there's red and blue, classic colors. The bar, the bar displays the amount of time you have to kick the ball. When the time expires, the CPU will kick the ball by itself. Controls, if you have the ball, uh, hold the joystick any direction, press fire to kick the ball. If you don't have the ball, press fire to select a player and use the joystick to move the selected player. Plug an additional joystick in port 2 to control the red team. Ooh, we can play two players. Difficulty switches are used to activate the CPU control for each player. But there's no way player. to score. Uh, for example, if you leave the red selected player under player control, it'll move automatically. So, are, is it CPU versus CPU right now? No, it's me and I'm playing. You are? Is the CPU not playing? Yo. No! Well, that's you? No, I'm playing. The, pl the CPU is playing against me. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's get another joystick in, port two. So you're blue or red? I'm blue. Okay. So you've got the... You're at the goal. Okay, you've got it. And you no. kicked it to red. Red but passed But there's no it. goal. There's no goal. No, the goal is to get it in the goal at the air. There, you almost got it. What, that white thing? Yeah, that's the goal, for sure. Oh, it's bouncing around. No! <laughs> Two points! Well, apparently I got a score at one point. That explains it. Because I thought I got it to the white thing, and then nothing seemed to happen. So. so you have to intercept... Oh, what is happening? Oh, you can't move when you've got it. No. Okay. It's like basketball. Okay, And so... you can shoot on an angle. Oh, you can bounce it to yourself. You can shoot... Yeah, you can. That's hilarious. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh. Oh, where are you pointing it at? Oh. So you have to position. Oh, that's hard. And uh, the, the players move when you're not controlling them, so you can't just sit somebody in front of the goal or anything. Oh, they move on their own. Yeah. So you can really only move. And when you change, when you press the button, you change players. Oh my god, that's challenging. <laughs> Oh, I thought he was going to kick it to me. Nope. Get, get it, get it, get it, get it. He oh. got a score. Oh, I see. <laughs> he scored, he I scored see. an own goal. This is really good because it's super challenging on how the hell you're supposed to even you have to Stay really to use you. a lot of strategy. No. Oh, I see. That's what you can do. Pass it to yourself if you have it. And then position yourself. He's gonna. Oh, no. Nope, nope, no, nope. Get it right here. Nope. Pass it to yourself. Perfect. No. Give it to me. Yes. <laughs> okay, I think I've got the strategy. It's not easy. <laughs> and if you don't throw it soon enough, the computer will throw it in a random direction for you. Yeah, that's not a good thing. Oh, intercepted it. Down there. No. Nope. Pass it to myself. Pass it. Pass it. No. Nope. Nope. Let me get it. Down. No. <laughs> it's kind of like basketball, except no dribbling. <laughs> That's what I was saying. It, yeah. It's basketball. It's only throwing. Uh, that way. Oh, no. Waited too long. Oh. Mine. 
Except in basketball, you can't throw it to yourself. <laughs> Okay, let's play two player. Let's Why? do it. Why? Because it's got to be done. It's dumb. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here we go. Wow, whoa, whoa. Can you move this fast? What is happening? Well, that's hilarious. You could kind of dribble it on the along the wall. Whoa, that's way too fast. What is happening? Okay, one second. No, that's a computer. Are you out of control now? Is it the nope. CPU? Why am I so fast? What is happening? This is crazy. I mean, it's good to get where I want to go, but it's so hard to control it. Yes, pass, yes! Actually, we'll reset the score. Uh, two block, huh? <laughs> no! <laughs> what the hell's going on? No, 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 no! fast. Yes, it's only fast when I'm not in control of the ball. Or when the ball, when you're in control of the ball, it's only fast. Do you find that on yours? That you have like super duper speed? Nope. No? It's really weird. There's nothing in the instructions about having super speed. Ugh. Very hard to see the ball when you have it because the ball's blue. Should have made the ball another color. Oh! Oh, get it down there. Yeah, you can't run as fast as the ball. Oh, no! Get it! Get it! Guys, other guys! No! No, 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 no! <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I can't get around you. Can't get quite. Oh, dudes. There we go. No. Oh, what? <gasps> get it. Get it. Why is it bouncing? Get it. <laughs> bouncing right in front of the goal. Come on. Oh, come on. Get it. I am red. Darcy is blue. If anybody doesn't know who is who. Foosball. Well, foosball, you can't move the guys. Keep passing it down. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, no. Oh, where is it? Oh, I hate it. Oh, no. I got it in front. But lost it. Yep. Come the on. speed of your, like, instant move has, has in fact, spo foiled me many times. Yeah. I mean, I can get there, but I can't control it. It's so brutal. really good at your defense. No. <laughs> no. It appears that you are very good at your defense. <laughs> I can never... Oh, God, so close. You never seem to get it into your goal. Come on, guy, get it. There we go. Oh, intercepted it. Oh. Come on. I'm, no. It's a little unclear on where you have to be to like get the ball. Uh, when? At any point, like if you want to pick it up. You just have to be. Uh, come on. Uh, who's it? 
Yes, Ouch. finally. Answer. We gotta quit now. <laughs> okay. Uh, while I'm winning. Uh... <laughs> That's a very good, simple soccer game. That's really good. More like rugby. You can, but you can run with the. Oh, you you can't run with the ball with rugby. You have to pass it you off immediately. Can... You can only pass back. You can run forward, but you can only pass behind you in rugby. Oh. Um, you can run forward like a couple steps and pass back. Is that what it is? But you you can run as far as you can forward. You can go forward with the ball. If but you, you want to pass, pass it, you can only pass back. Okay. So run. It's sort of like football. Only in football, you can't... I think you can hand off the ball, but you can't throw it. Can't throw it forward. And I don't know if you can hand it off either. Can you hand it off? I don't think you can. Uh, you can only yeah. take it from the enemy team. Well, I've seen you can't. Yeah, but that's only at the beginning. That's at the beginning. The quarterback is allowed to we hand it to somebody else. We know nothing about sports games. Quarterback can <laughs> hand it to somebody else, but nobody else is allowed to do that. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. The last one is Alien Radio. This is, this is more like a demo. Volume up. Arena foot. No football fans there. Foot in the for him. He tries to talk to me. He should talk to me about away from the screen and just look at it. Sorry, did you just say look at the screen? Sorry, <laughs> don't stare at the screen and, and listen to it. <coughs> what the hell? What? Here. Uh, I, I mean, it does change it. That is digitized sound, just volume on and off. So it's like quickly ch -ch 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 volume on and off. That's a cool one. Keep going down, down, down. Is that down? You're pressing? That's the same sound over and over again. Right now I'm going on an angle. Oh. Very interesting. There are a I lot mean, of a channels, new... but no, uh... no aliens. I'm we looking can... for talk radio, and I'm not getting it. <laughs> <laughs> there were some alien-sounding stuff when you, when it was first turned on. So maybe you have to try and get back to like the alien talk channel. Oh. It is really, really, really cool. I've never seen a a program game, I guess, like this. That's not bad. A little bit of chatter there. <clears throat> this sounds like what I used to hear you when tuning shortwave. Yeah. It's very interesting. Very interesting. I would just like to to step back to the previous game and mention yes. that technically I was winning that game when we played. Oh, uh, I lost. <laughs> technically you were. I think you were ahead the whole time and I was catching up the whole time. Good job. Yeah. Good I just job. I gotta take the, I don't deserve that win, but I, I gotta take it. <laughs> You'll take it? it. Yeah. <laughs> so a very uh, 
interesting collections a collection of games today. Yeah. Um, so let's take a look. You know, I have 3D glasses. I don't have them with me. But I <laughs> you do have some, 3D glasses? Like the red. Because <gasps> yeah. I'm going to do a 3D show. Well, I have some. And I don't know where <clears throat> my 3D glasses are. Um, so if you would be able to dig those out, that would be super handy. Because there's like three or four Atari 2600 3D games. Including that one. That's like the, another one. I'll have to put that on the list. <clears throat> So we played uh, Ms. Galactopus. Not a bad game. Pretty <clears> fun. <throat> Gets challenging. Um, Breakout 2000, which is kind of a game. It's a little bit too crazy to be a game, though. Very hard to control. Very hard to see what's going on. It's too fast on the screen. I think it was if it was shrunk down a bit, like half the size... Might be better. Like increased resolution on the... <clears throat> yeah. So the ball is half the size. Mm -hmm. The screen is bigger. Yeah, like you yeah. can see more at a time. And it scrolls around. <clears throat> um, I think that would improve it a lot. Because right now it's like... Yeah, I mean, I had no idea... <laughs> what was going on. I didn't even know what I was supposed to do. But it, <laughs> Like, is it is it like done? Or is it in progress? Or what? Like It, it, like, it was just Not posted. knowing what... You're, well, if it was just posted, then yeah, so that I, suggests that it's still being worked on. I mean, normally you're going to have some sort of indication on how well you're doing or poorly you're doing. That's yes, all. there's no score. Yeah. That would be like helpful. even if even if they changed nothing else, but you knew, oh, I'm doing well, or oh, I'm doing poorly. That would yes. be a massive improvement. Yeah, it would score. no longer be just an activity, but you would like be trying <laughs> to figure out how to do it. Yes, yeah. we're going to do activities today, kids. <laughs> yeah, it, there's some goal, some things. <laughs> Mister Fix says usually usually says great games, awesome hosts, annoying or great cats or cute cats. Today it's annoying cats. Those or. poor cats. They're getting a bad <laughs> rap. They're quite lovely. They are. Today they were all over the place. They opened up the, the shutters. <laughs> they are on the mixing board. They were changing the output of the Atari. <laughs> it was it was not good. So, yeah, they get a score of annoying today. <laughs> and uh, Dot, fun, fun collection. Um, I think the one I had most fun with was the Atlas one. Where you collect the pieces. Yeah, that one, I like that up. one. Yeah, I like that one. That I think that one cool. had the most gameplay to it. It was pretty neat, the fact that like mm -hmm. you kept getting bigger and that was a problem. So as you progressed, it got harder. And it was but and also part easier. Part of it was like where if you were skilled, you could keep it clumped in a ball and that's kind of part of the goal. Yeah, yeah. so it's it got easier to get the pieces but harder to avoid the enemy. So it was a very nice balance, balanced game. And a reset pretty much at the right time to a new level. That was that was a really nice balance. I liked the soccer game. That was really cool too, where you couldn't move if you had the ball. That's a nice twist on, on the game. So I think those were two, my two standouts <clears throat> out of all the games. The other ones were a little bit too simple and repetitive, I think. I mean, a collection of nine games in one, that's quite, quite a collection, so they're not all going to all gonna, all gonna hit. Can you drive the cats away with Alien Radio? Probably if you turned it up loud enough and found the right radio station to tune in, they'd probably like, ears back, run away. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... They might sit outside the door and meow at you to lure you to safety. That's right. Like they I do when you're in the shower. Trying to rescue you. Follow the sound of my voice to safety. Please come out. <laughs> um, so next Wednesday, I actually have no game scheduled, so I'm going to have to build up that list for next Wednesday and Friday. I've just been swamped dealing with the Atari Awards um, background, you know, getting it ready um, because there's a lot to get ready. And we're dealing with the nominations right now until the 20th. And then the 23rd is when we announce to the public what the top games that they're going to vote on in each of the 10 categories. So it's like 8 to 10 or 12 games each, and they're going to vote. And we're still figuring out the voting as well. Um, and we're going to be starting to play those nominated games on the 23rd onward and try and cover every single game that was nominated. 
not like long sessions, but just go over it again so people can see it if they haven't seen the game before. And we'll have that for the 23rd and at least the 25th, depending on <clears throat> how consolidated the nominations are. Because right. if it's the same 10 games each time, which it could be, mm -hmm. but it could be different games every category, which would take a long time because that would be 100 games. Yeah. Or it could be 10. 10 to 100 games we'll be playing. <laughs> <laughs> it's unlikely it'll be 100. It'll probably be closer to 10 because usually if you have a game most aspects are going to be good in it like a, if you have a good game most yeah, good yeah. aspects are going to be good because the person put a lot of effort into everything but yeah. maybe not maybe graphics are going to stand out in one game and they didn't do a lot of the audio it's just like beep boop beep or the gameplay or gameplay is, they're like yes. the graphics are amazing who would play this game it's terrible <laughs> yeah. except to see the graphics usually with graphics it follows a good gameplay but actually that's not true Look at Dot. Some of the gameplay in Dot is outstanding. Like with Atlas, the, the gameplay is amazing, but it's blocks. Literally all blocks. Mm -hmm. And we've encountered games like that a lot on this show. Because I look at it, like people post screenshots in the forum. And I'm, I look at it and go, oh, that's disappointing, <laughs> the graphics. But then I, I give it a chance. I play it on the show. And it's like the most amazing gameplay that I've ever seen and it's just blocks and it's amazing most of the same games are expected to be in several categories that, and that's what I expect too it's gonna games are gonna cross over boundaries um, but there's gonna be hopefully it'll be mixed up so that a lot of games get their due um, oh Tanya says she may watch over lunch because it does coincide with her lunch at work ah. Hi, Tanya, if you're watching, still, I doubt it. Oh, she'd be back to work, maybe. I don't know when her lunch is. I think it's 1 o'clock. Um, and then, of course, the award show is on February 23rd. It is a Saturday. So Darcy will be here. Erilyn will be here. Tanya will be here. We'll all be doing double duty behind the camera and in front of the camera. One person's going to be on the mixing board with the volumes. <laughs> <laughs> With the uh, switching the video to, you know, recorded bits or live or different cameras because we'll have two cameras going. And the other not person in front of the camera will be on the second camera. So that'll be tons of fun. Ten awards starting at noon Pacific time. Um, three o'clock, actually the same time as now. Noon Pacific time, three o'clock um, Eastern and 8 p.m. GMT for those people watching in Europe, so I timed it out so everyone can watch. And uh, the first ColecoVision homebrew is going to be played maybe on Wednesday, depending if it comes here. <clears throat> maybe on Friday. So that'll be fun. Uh, somebody has donated, um, not donated, loaned me their Coleco game homebrew. Um, they are a lot more expensive than Atari games, unfortunately. Hmm. Usually about $20 more a game on average. Really? U.S. Hmm. So, like, Atari games are minimum about 25 I think, um, around there, and go up to, s like, 60 with a box. ColecoVision games start at, like, 40 45 just with a cartridge. And this go is for up, homebrew? Yeah, homebrew games. And go up to, like, 70 75 80 And what 85. accounts for the difference? Are, um, they, are they a lot more uh, difficult to make? or it, Like, it would be the hardware inside. I don't think it's the actual people oh, making okay. them. It could be. It could be just that's the price point that people decided ColecoVision games are. I see. Or, but the hardware, I see what you're saying. Yeah. It could be the hardware inside of it is more expensive. Or there aren't as many ColecoVision games made, so it's more expensive on mass. Or they do it piecemeal, like they only order a couple at a time. Mm -hmm. I do notice they... They don't keep them on the market for very long. Like, if you, you better order it immediately, or yeah, it's yeah. going to be sold out. Yeah. Atari games, they keep them on the market for years sometimes. They don't usually make short runs of it. So with Coleco, it's like, we have 100, they're gone after they're gone. And if you don't get it, too bad. Too <laughs> bad. So we've got that coming up. Don't know when, whenever that comes in. Uh, I know Dan Kitchen is working on his game. Uh, his new homebrew game, uh, Gold Rush, so we might get that. And also his interview. He's getting together some of the bits so I can put it in his interview. So that'll be very soon as well. Um, and I think that's it 
for now, we will see you next Wednesday at 11 a.m. with Erlen. He was sick this week. He had bronchitis, so he could barely breathe. So he's getting better, he says. That's an update for Erlen. And he'll be back next Wednesday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. And uh, that's it for us. So thank you for watching, and we will see you next show. Bye-bye! I'll keep waving until it stops. And stop.